Today's reading continues from the great book of Tobit, and we learn about Raphael, meaning God is healed. Saint Raphael, one of seven archangels, was sent by God to help Tobit, his son Tobiah, and Sarah, who was be betrothed to Tobiah. Tobit, as we learned a couple days ago, was blind. Sarah had had seven bridegrooms die on each of their wedding nights. Disguised in human form, Raphael called himself Azarias, and he travels with Tobias, helping him through difficulties, and drives out the evil spirit in Sarah, responsible for slaying her previous bridegrooms, showing Tobias how to safely enter marriage with Sarah. Raphael instructs Tobias to catch a fish and uses the gallbladder to heal Tobit's eyes, thus allowing his father to see the light of heaven and for receiving all good things through his intercession. And folks, I wouldn't try this at home using the gallbladder of a fish for your, for your cataracts. Reacting to Raphael's words, Tobit and Tobias are overwhelmed with awe and they fell on their faces in terror. But Raphael says, do not be afraid. Peace be with you. Bless God forever. When I was with you, my presence was not by any decision of mine, but by the will of God. He is the one whom you must bless as long as you live. He the one that you must praise. Now bless the Lord on earth and give thanks to God. Tobit and Tobias praise God with hymns, thanking God for having performed such wonders. God, who's not limited in ways, speaks to us sometimes through other people. Someone may say something to you, and something inside of you just ignites, and you know that what they've said is right. It is as if the Lord has spoken through the person directly to you, how often are we blinded to the truth, the blindness that exists in our own lives, needing, like Tobit, someone to peel back our blindness so that we can see the truth? Sometimes the Lord puts someone in our lives to help us see, to wise us up, to smarten us up, giving us the vision that was lost. Perhaps someone who says, now bless the Lord on earth and give thanks to God.